In this video, I'm going to talk about the Type tool. The Type tool is the tool that allows us to create font or create text. Now, the next thing we're going to do is just come in and click. Don't click and drag because what I've realized is it doesn't allow you to resize after that. So just click. We can dr click and drag it later on with our Selection tool to resize it or change the font type. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is come in and explain that if I type after you click, it will change that font. If you already click out, if you want to come back in and edit it, so I deselect, you can go back into your type tool, click over a text box, and it will allow you to click into it, and then do some edits to that, if you had things that were spelled wrong or whatever else. Now, a lot of the other things that I do in the selection tool, so once I have it, I go into my selection tool, if I'm in my selection tool, I can click on this thing called character, and this will allow me to change my different fonts. Um, if you don't already have your window control bar open, you want to have that because without that you can't see this bar. So one more time clicking on character. This allows me to come in and select this and then use my cursor keys to check the different fonts that we have. If you want to, you can also come in and click on this downward facing arrow and you can see all the different fonts that are available for us. Once you figure out what font you want, the next thing I do is I usually click and drag the box to make it bigger and smaller. All right. You can also change the font size in points over here. All right. And if it's none of those, you can also select into this area right here and change these numbers. If I wanted 45, I can just put 45 in there and hit enter. Over here, it shows you paragraph. Do you want it aligning to the left, the middle, or the right? And I'm just going to put that back in the left-hand side. And then there are some align and transform things you can do here, uh, talking about what colors you want them. Some of them have other different options that happen after we select it. If I go into a, a popular one like, uh, what's a very common? Arial. Arial will usually have different settings over here as far as narrow, narrow italic, narrow bold, regular italic, bold, bold italic, and those kind of options. Lastly, when I get it the way I want it, the next thing I can do, I can also, in my selection tool, go over here to where it says Make Envelope. And once I make Envelope, or click this little button right here, it allows me to warp or change my text box outlook, how it looks. Okay? So I click, if I click here, I always want to have Preview selected because that will show you what we do. And then it usually starts being 50%, but you can alter that by going either the opposite way, depending on where you want it to go. You can also do Vertical instead of Horizontal. So that kind of does the bend differently. So you can check out those different options. I'm going to go back to horizontal there and just go back to about 25%. Um, there are many different ones to kind of look through here, and you can do that. Once you are done, hit OK. Now, lastly, resizing it. Remember, we want to have this fitting so it fits onto our artboard, the white area, the white space of our background here. Um, once you've turned it or warped it, you want to do all of your edits in your selection tool. If you click into the box, it'll change your little area up here. Um, this right now shows the bend, all the things we can do to change it as far as edit it. If you want to flip out of that, go to, instead of edit envelope, edit contents. And now we can change the other items as far as uh, the character, what kind of we want to have there as far as our different font families, um, or possibly our size and those kind of things. All right. I hope the video helps. Make sure you try and practice it. Thank you for watching.